This material has been excerpted from the college television course The World of Chemistry and re-edited for use in the high school curriculum. The World of Chemistry is funded by the Annenberg CPB project. Additional funding provided by Dow, the Great Things Company, leaders in the world of chemistry, the 8,000 scientists of the Eastman Kodak Company, and the Exxon Education Foundation. This adaptation is supported by a grant from the National Science Foundation. It is a fascinating journey, this path of knowledge, and the vehicle we ride is a science called chemistry. Welcome to World of Chemistry. My name is Rolad Hoofman, and I'm here to take you on this magical journey. But first, we need to learn about the basics. Chemistry is like this ruler here. To get to the rest of the segments, you must first start here. Before, before, you, s before you play with this and this, or even something as simple as this, you must first learn about this. To demonstrate our first lab safety rule, we're performing a special experiment. I'm bringing in a scientist friend of mine to complete the experiment and show you how it's done. Say hi, scientist friend. All right, now begin the experiment. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't just look directly into a beaker of chemicals like that. The reaction could hurt your eyes if it's particularly volatile. And especially, you shouldn't be looking into that beaker without those goggles. Now put them on. All right, now that his goggles are properly on, he can complete the experiment. Now remember, keep your distance. Now look at that. Now imagine if your eyes were directly over that. Your eyes could have been seriously hurt. Great job. Let's move on to the next lab safety rule. Our next experiment will demonstrate our second lab safety rule. I have brought in a new scientist friend to begin the experiment. Begin. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Baggy clothing can be extremely dangerous, and you're just covered in layers. Don't wear baggy clothing while in a lab, because the looseness could knock over Dang potentially dangerous chemicals and create messes. Now, let's try that again. Tipos, you fool. Take his clothes off. Yeah, can we get, the, who is in the hallway? Seagulls and children. Shush! The children in the hallway are ambient noise that we'll pick up on the microphone. Shush them. <laughs> it's very hard to take off. <laughs> this scene is giving us particular trouble. Are you trying to do the toothpaste? Well, we realized after looking through the script that we don't even pour the hydrogen peroxide in and actually do the experiment at any point. Now that you are properly clothed for a lab, let's begin the experiment again. Wait, 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 wait. Street. 
So that was a very interesting experiment. We learned quite a few things so far on this magical journey. We learned to use proper lab equipment. Don't wear baggy clothes or open-toed shoes. And don't eat food in a laboratory. Let's see if I can bring in a more professional science friends to show these fellas how it's done. Hold on! <gasps> Apparently, our scientist friend here cannot help these young budding scientists because he just broke rule number one, do not look directly into a beaker. You especially shouldn't be doing that if you have long hairs like our special guest here because you could damage your long, luscious, beautiful locks if they get caught in the flame. And this Bunsen burner is entirely out of control. Uh, you have to turn this gas knob here to lower the gas and this knob here to lower the oxygen level. Once you have a blue controlled flame, you can begin experimenting. Let's see if our scientist friends can do better with a simple test. Take a look at these chemicals. Can you figure out what they are just by observing them? No, no, no! You can't. You don't do it like... You do it like this. You waft it. And never, ever, like our good scientist friend here, drink or eat any chemicals you don't know. Now you see why safety in the lab is very important. There could be very severe consequences if you don't follow all the lab safety rules. You could injure yourself or, and others, you could, or you could mess up your experiment irreparably. Safety in the lab is... What the hydrogen do you think you're doing? There will be no horseplay in my lab! Especially around chemicals. Now that you broke a fundamental rule of the lab, were you going to tell anybody about the glass you broke? I didn't think so. When you break glass in the lab, always make sure to tell the teacher so that they know you're cleaning it up and can assist you if necessary. Now that our voyage through basic chemistry rules is coming to an end, we must recap all we've learned. Always wear proper lab equipment such as goggles, lab coats, and gloves when completing experiments. Never wear loose clothing and tie back your long hair while in the lab. Do not consume chemicals or eat food while in the lab. Don't snort chemical fumes. Waft them. If glass is broken in the lab, notify your instructor before beginning cleanup. And finally, no horseplay in the lab.
Wait, Shit. and go ahead. <laughs> this egg has been destroyed!